the most nerve-wracking part about being on set would probably be, you know, being around a whole bunch of like really talented actors and wanting to keep up with them. What if we told them? What? We could rewrite the code, make them aware. Why would we do that? Compassion. You yourself said that it would be unethical I know, to... I know what I said. But now I'm saying we should try and save them. My dream role would be like a dark and twisted character uh, who ends up like killing everybody at the end. Ding. <laughs> My favorite thing about acting, without being like cheesy and cliche, is not just getting to express myself, but getting to like show my uh, twist on a character to the entire world and like showing them my interpretation. I always think that's fun. I'm sorry. I can't face them after what you did. I said I'm sorry. I became an actor honestly just because I think I was born to do it because I just came out and in preschool I was always in like plays and make doing make-believe and I was just like yeah this is fun I mean I get to play make-believe for a profession so I was like yeah that's happening. I would want to be a super villain but I'd probably be a superhero because I'd be too scared to do anything bad. Finisco! Just let me finish! Deactivate the shield now! Shut it down or we'll break it down! Almost done! Just one more sequence! I think my biggest aha moment would be, um, I think getting out of my, my comfort zone, because I used to just not do it at all, and I would be like, no, and I was like, well, just do it, like the Nike commercial. If you just do it, then it's like, oh, it's not that bad, so, I, I don't know, it just I was just sitting in class one day, and I was like, oh my gosh, this isn't that bad, just just go, just go for it. I'm not wearing pants right now. Okay, wait, wait, that came out really wrong. I'm wearing pants, I'm wearing a skirt. I'd say your humor setting is working perfectly.